Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to do a smoke text effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 17 using the built-in Fusion. If you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and want to have a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get right to the video. Okay, so let's get right to this. First off, we're going to go up to our effects and um, we're going to take a Fusion composition and drag that down to our timeline. Then we'll just pop into Fusion and here we have our media in. I'm going to add in a background note and connect that to the media out. And in the inspector, I'm just going to go into the alpha channel and make that transparent. So first thing we are going to need is a fast noise. I'm going to drag in a fast noise. I'm going to connect the output of the fast noise into this input here at, or the output at the background. And that we have right here, the fast noise. So with the fast noise selected, I'm going to put in some details. I'm going to add in some contrast just a little bit and might change down the brightness just a little bit and then I could also scale this just a little bit. So now we have nothing going on but we have the look we want. Then I want to add in some seeth so there'll be movement and I'm also give them a little more life here something like that. Might add a little more add a little rate as well, less, something like that. And uh, now we're just going to go up here to the center. I'm going to put in a keyframe from the beginning keyframe or from the beginning of the clip. And I'll just go to the end of the clip and I'm just going to bump this up. So we have movements like this. Some kind of smoky movements. Um, so I'm going to take a text note here. I'm going to drag the text up in our first viewer and I'm just going to write smoke like that. And I'm going to find a big font. So maybe I'll just take this font and I'm going to make this. It's pretty bold already. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Then I'll take a polygon, which is right here. I'm going to drag that down and um, I'm just going to, with the polygon selected, draw the shape of the letter. And uh, don't worry, it doesn't have to be super perfect or anything uh, for the first part of it, at least. So now we have our shape. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and I'm going to correct my um, shape so it does look a little more like an S. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything of that sort, but you can um, correct it to your liking. So something like that. And then I'm just going to connect this to the fast noise. And um, in the polygon, I'm just going to soften the edges just a little bit. Like that, I think looks fine. So now we have this letter uh, smoke effect. And the way we are going to make this effect is actually we're going to do the exact same thing for each letter. And the easiest way to do that is actually to um, highlight everything and then control C, C and, um, and I'm just going to control V to paste it in. I'm going to push down shift and then I'm going to drag the merge in. I'm going to let it go so it's connected into the line here. Then I'll just take the polygon. I'm going to reset my polygon right here. And uh, with the polygon selected, I'm just going to do 
another letter. Like that again. We don't have to be perfect or anything of that sort. And this is the basic of how we can do this effect. So to make this tutorial a little bit shorter, I'm going to speed it up in the 80s style. So now we have this smoke effect with the text. And of course, we could easily make this look a lot better by, um, for instance, going into the background, turning up the alpha again, and we can have it with a black background. We could, of course, also change the color to something else, greenish. Just make sure that it's not too of a light color because otherwise the smoke will disappear. We could do something like this, or we could, if we want to go into each of the fast noise, change the colors just by clicking and selecting the color we want. If we want to have a different color than smoke, if we want something like this. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.